I've been uh, asked a couple of questions lately about um, how to do transparent single sign-on with Azure AD. Um, so I thought I'd uh, record a video, take you through it. So um, I'm using the beta cloud um, for this. Um, not that it makes any difference, um, but uh, you can see here my my login URL is um, uh, Microsoft Online um, with my uh, tenant ID in there. Um, the same is true for Zscaler Private Access. Uh, it's coming to the same uh, URL. Um, and what I'm going to be using um, is my Azure AD joined um, device here. And you can see here um, it's uh, hybrid joined. It's Azure AD joined. It's domain joined. Uh, but it's got its primary refresh token um, because it is joined. We can see here I've got my Azure AD. PRT, got no enterprise PRT. I've got my cloud ticket, granting ticket for uh, Active Directory, a Kerberos auth, if I wanted to do that. Um, um, but basically, it's all um, configured. And so if we go ahead and we look at um, something like uh, my Edge browser, uh, my Edge browser, in fact, we'll start over here. We'll come to my um, account uh, settings here. <laughs> to see um, how that's, uh, that's set up. I'm connected to um, the Azure domain. Obviously, this is this is what's uh, giving you that uh, uh, DS Reg CMD the information about the primary refresh token and being connected to the domain, uh, Azure AD domain correctly. So um, we're synchronized because this is a managed account, it's a managed machine by Azure AD. My, um, uh, Edge browser is authenticated here. So if I do something like, uh, let's go to the, the login um, URL for Zscaler Beta, you'll see it'll uh, redirect automatically. Um, I'm authenticated transparently um, you know, from uh, Zscaler, transparently redirected to uh, Azure, logged into Azure transparently, um, and then this would uh, result in opening client connector. Uh, if we do it with um, SAML SP, um, again, the same domain, SSO type equals test. Uh, again, transparent auth. And you'll see here, auth method references. Um, and it did uh, X509 because I'm uh, certificate authenticated because it's an Azure uh, uh, joint device. That's that primary refresh token. Did multiple auth N um, as part of that it, uh, edge or WebView presented my credentials as part of that um, challenge response. And then we get a, is managed is true, is compliant is true, so it's evaluated my um, posture with Intune and it's a known device is true, and I can use that in my policy. Um, so we see that there. Um, just to contrast it, if I use the um, uh, my, my Firefox browser and I go to that um, CL start, um, uh, Richard, that one you'll see the redirect happens, and it I've already signed in before, so it's cached a bit, but it knows that I'm at M Ryan. If I enter my um, password there, I am then going to get a challenge for multi factor authentication uh, for which I enter my token here uh, and I'm in. Um, if we do the same for the SAML SP. Um, come on, oh, there we go. Uh, I've already got a cached session, so I've already authenticated once. And Azure is saying, well, you've already authenticated once, you've got a cache session, I'm not going to re challenge you. Um, but it still caches how I authenticated. I did a multiple authentication, um, and that was um, password authentication with an MFA token which was the uh, Windows Authenticator. So slightly different um, tokens are returned to us that we could use to apply policy on. Um, so, so what does that look like? You know, let's get to, to where we want to be um, with um, Zscaler Client Connector. So let's launch Zscaler Client Connector. Um, we'll, uh, it's been um, installed with the uh, user domain and cloud name tokens, so it's going to authenticate Zscaler Beta. You see it automatically authenticated for ZIA and authenticated for ZPA as well. Um, and then uh, it'll it'll go ahead and sit in the system tray um, and it's all enrolled. We've got our 
uh, client credential, uh, client IP and FQDN and everything. So it's all registered correctly, entirely transparent. The user didn't need to interact with anything because the machine is Azure AD joined. It's got the primary refresh token. Um, it's using the WebView 2. So when I installed it, I installed it with the WebView 2 parameter. Um, and so that's essentially edge containerized within um, Client Connector to do the transparent sign-on. Let's go ahead and uh, log out of here as well. Um, and I'll show something else, which I think is uh, equally uh, interesting. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll exit this as well. Um, so we're going to start from a little bit of first principles on it. We'll come across the mobile portal, administration, um, and what I'm interested in are these uh, platform settings. Um, so we, we've selected WebView 2 uh, already. That's what's going to go on within um, the client connector to do the auth. But I'm, in this case, I'm going to select browser-based authentication. And what that's going to do is it's going to trigger client connector um, to launch the native browser, my Edge browser, to do the authentication there rather than doing it within Client Connector. So rather than using the embedded WebView 2, it's actually going to launch the, the, the native browser. Let's come back across here and we'll see what's going on. So let's um, let's launch eScaler uh, app. Launches it, downloads the configuration. Now, that should have always been, I think it's because I installed Edge, it wants to know what my native browser is. And you see the transparent authentication there happened. It launched there. Now it's doing the SAML SP for the, um, uh, for the uh, client connector for piece for, um, uh, for the ZPA authentication. Now it's registering uh, and away we go. Uh, so yeah, two different ways to achieve the same thing. The reason why you would natively uh, or you might open the native browser to do that um, was if you were using, say, a YubiKey or something that couldn't interact with the WebView 2 container that's embedded. It needed a full full browser to have that functionality. Um, and uh, But the, the transparency, the, the sending of the primary refresh token happened in the browser. So I didn't enter my username and password and it still did the, the MTLS authentication, but I might have had to have done an NMFA there as well. So um, this is demonstrating how all that stuff works. Um, you, you also notice it launched the browser. Um, the browser then tried to launch something within um, Zscaler Client Connector. Let's just, uh, I'll just show you how that looks. I've got some um, uh, registry settings here. And what this is saying is, um, there's a couple of other things in here for Kerberos, um, but the uh, it says anything from these these hosts, my mobile.zscaler beta, uh, SAML SP for ZPA, SAML SP for Zscaler beta, those things are allowed to launch protocols. Um, and the protocol which is registered is the ZSA protocol um, that tells it this is going to launch um, Zscaler uh, pro, uh, Zscaler Client Connector, and it says um, auto automatically open those URLs if it's uh, mobile.zscaler beta or SAML SP.zpa beta. Those are the two um, URLs that it's going to automatically open those downloads of those tokens. Um, in case you're interested in what that looks like, um, this gets this gets put into your um, registry when you install Client Connector, which says, okay, well, well, my protocol is called ZSA, and it says ZSA will automatically launch the ZSA service and the ZSA service with the parameter um, that's presented to it, which is the ZSA token that's downloaded as part of that authentication round. Um, you don't need to touch this bit, but it's worth understanding what's going on under the hood. So. Uh, transparent authentication with Azure AD, avoiding all that MFA, um, you know, the Windows Authenticator because the machine is Azure AD joined and you've got all those. The two tokens that are there is when I logged into the machine, I used my username and password and the fact that it's a hybrid joined device means that it's managed, it's got those certificates on there and uh, Azure is able to posture check that and see that it was uh, uh, joined it's had its updates and everything and, and we could go into the Azure portal and see that if you uh, if you wanted to I uh, hope this was useful mark at zscaler.com